This is a Vivor cheap magnetic drill. Is it worth your hard earned money? In this video, I answer that question and put it to the test so you can decide. I've had this for a couple months and there's some really good features about it and there's some not so good features about it. So this is the one on the website that goes up the highest, you can see here. And it also has this quick disconnect, which you just twist like that and your bits come right out. And then you can just stick it back up in there. If it's magnetized, it's easier. But So you can just stick that back up in there. So that's a quick disconnect. One bad thing about that is this chuck is so long that you really can't use any drill bit with it because when you roll it up like this, you can see it's lower than the table. So that kind of defeats the purpose of being able to use regular drill bits. So what I did was I just built this stand up here with some two by fours, welded them together, put a plate on top so that I sat flat until it got up high enough to where I could actually use it as like a drill press. And I just leave this vise on the table here and then I clamp it down wherever I need it and kind of slide it around when I'm drilling holes. So that works for that. But if you want to magnetize this to the side of something and use this chuck that takes drill bits, it's worthless. Annular cutters will go in there and annular cutters, as long as they're not over two inches, will work in there magnetized to something like that. So that's kind of one of the, the negatives of, of the drill, you could say. But you don't have to use this chuck with it if you don't want. But, you know, it costs more money to have that. So one of the other things that I liked about this one is this variable speed. So you can adjust it up and down, and it goes forward and reverse. So those are pretty good options. Um, and they have this switch here that magnetizes it. And when you turn it on, that's how you start it. But if you were to demagnetize it, even though it's still on, it's a safety feature and it turns the drill off. So I do like that feature a lot in, in, the, in the drill. So I know what you're asking now, how does it drill? Let's check it out. So what I have here is a half inch piece of hot rolled plate. And this is just a regular cheap drill bit from Harbor Freight, nothing special. What I'm gonna do is mark some spots in this, we'll drill it, see how it works. So I got this chucked up here. Let's use a little tap magic. Start drilling the first hole. So there we go. I did that one one shot. Usually I'll stop and come back up a little bit and then add a little bit more oil so it's not so hard on the drill bit. But I just wanna kinda of punish this thing and show you how quick and how efficient it will actually drill. So let's drill these next four holes here. So that's the first test over with how did it do. Drill pretty good holes, especially for a cheap Harbor Freight drill bit. Now one of the drawbacks of this that I don't like, this chuck here doesn't hold very good. It doesn't matter how much you get down on it with the chuck key and tighten it, it still doesn't hold the greatest. So you can see here, it started off really good and then the, the drill actually slipped back up inside the chuck. And you can see it didn't penetrate all the way through. So now that I've done a half inch, I'm gonna take it over here to a press break that I designed. And it actually has three half inch plates put back to back to back. So it's an inch and a half. 
So let's take it over here. I'm gonna use one of these annular cutters and put it to the test over there and see how it does drilling through that. I got the first hole lined up and what I'm gonna do is use this uh, water soluble cutting oil and just spray it on there just to kind of lubricate it and help it out. Let's see what it does. So I got through the first plate, which is half inch, and what it did is, uh, you know, stop going down because the plug came out. So this is the plug from that. So since it's three half inch plates, I'm assuming every half inch when it gets through that plate, I'm gonna have to stop and pull the plug out. Let's continue on. So here's the hole, nice and clean all the way through, no problems, nice and smooth. So now let's see if it holds up, uh, do a couple more here and see what we get. So there you have it. There's six perfectly drilled holes. No problems. It was nice and smooth. I didn't have to put a lot of pressure on, on the drill to get it to go through. It was like butter. So what are my in honest thoughts about this drill? It works great. No problems with it. It's cheap. You got to figure there's others like Hogan magnetic drills and other big brands of drills that are charging thousands of dollars for these things. Thousands of dollars. This one comes in at like a couple hundred bucks. It's got torque, it's got power. I really don't have too many complaints with this. The the pros outweigh the cons with this with this drill in my opinion. Is it worth going out and spending three times the amount when you could easily use this and get the same results? In my opinion it's not. This is this is a pretty good drill in my opinion. So I'll show the exact model number of this if you guys are interested in purchasing it. I'm not affiliated with them at all. I purchased this with my own money and I've been using it for months. And, and other than the little, little problems that I've had here and there that I just explained, this thing has been great for me. No problems at all. And like I said, coming in a couple hundred bucks, if it goes out on me, they do have a, a, a one year warranty, I think, that they'll replace it for you. And even if they didn't, for the price of it, a couple hundred bucks, the money you'll make using this thing in, in a couple months or a year, you could just go buy another one as opposed to paying thousands of dollars for a competitor that probably does the same thing. So if this video helped you out at all, I'd appreciate it if you give me a like and subscribe. See you on the next one.